I remember because it was forearm, forearm, and yeah, then I and just spotted like... you. And then we did like one, two, three. Cool. Ah! Ah! That's a bird. <laughs> 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 Hey, I'm Tanner Buchanan. Hi, my name is Sholo Mariduena. And that's Peyton List. And that's Mary Mauser. <laughs> and, and this is uh, Notes, on, Notes a on a Scene! <laughs> Woo! So, the scene we're about to watch is from season four. It is a fight scene right after prom. We're at the after party. And, um, yeah, you'll see. You'll see what happens here. There's a brawl, fisticuff, a squabble. It seems like you're always behind me in line. First Miguel, now Robbie. I have a half-eaten cupcake in there if you want some. You know, I'd kick your ass, but comes to mom that I wouldn't. Oh! oh! That right first kick, by the way, we had to re-choreograph this like three times on the day because of where the pool was. We were supposed, that first kick was supposed yeah. to be the opposite leg, and then they were like, where the camera's gonna be, you need to throw it the other way in order for it to sell. Selling a kick is like, make it look convincing when realistically you don't hit somebody. Mm -hmm. Although I think I actually tagged you on that one, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did. You're supposed to like, I guess when you like take a kick, like kind of absorb it, mm -hmm. like prepare yourself and move with it so that you don't just literally get knocked Which out. Which I think like giving it a little tap helps. Yeah, that's fair. Otherwise, I'm just like, ah, where do I go? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, oh, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, that didn't land. Yeah. yeah, but then we had to switch it, so it was like, okay, Peyton, I'm gonna throw this kick. Just kidding, actually, they just moved the camera, so I'm gonna throw this one. No, 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 actually, just one more time, we're gonna go back to the original version, but then after that, I'm gonna throw an opposite axe kick. <laughs> we did a lot on the fly this day. Yeah, this was basically all on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to see if I can tell where Olivia is. Oh, that one's oh, Olivia! That was Olivia. <laughs> yeah, that, that was my stunt double, Olivia, that took that fall, which I would just be so scared to take anything going back. I have like really hilarious BTS pictures of me actually yeah. learning this takedown because I was so nervous about doing it in this dress that I had the prom dress brought to the dojo where we train and put on top of my workout clothes. <laughs> so I have on like all this like workout gear and like all black like stunts attire and then the like hot pink dress on top of it. You get to train with your stunt doubles, you know, Craig, my stunt double this year. Mine is Olivia J. Brown. Thomas Watson. I mean, I'm gonna talk about her even more after this, but uh, Selkie Hom is my stunt double and superhero. It really cannot be done without the stunt team, especially a show like this where you're having fights every episode, every other episode. Like, mm -hmm. you need to make sure that you guys are connected and like synced up. There's certain things that you do subconsciously, like whether it's how you hold your hands, are they open, are they high, are they low, are you bouncing up and down? For one thing in specific, Selkie made a great point of uh, pointing out how I notoriously run terribly, and I never had that conversation with her, but um, early in the season, I have a, a sequence in which I, I run across a building and then like jump over the building. So <laughs> she got to do that part, but uh, as we're like running and, and everything, I was like, wow, like, why does this look so accurate? Like, this looks disturbingly like me. Like, I feel, and then she like pulled me aside. She was like, oh yeah, just because I study your run. I was like, what do you mean you study my run? She was like, you don't run normal. And I had to learn how to run like you. I was like, okay, so that's pretty impressive. It's embarrassing, yeah. but great. <laughs> She's like, I had to learn how to run badly. I had to undo what yeah. I do well. <laughs> When we were trying to set it up, they were like, so like take her down initially, right? And they're like, wind up for a punch. They were like, when you take her down, you have to fully spin your body around to land where we need yeah. you to for the camera. And then we did that. And then we switched out and we put real Peyton in there. And then we had a shot where I was like, actually like looking down at Peyton, right? And then they like clocked our bodies a different direction. And then they go back and they were like, actually we need your body to be completely the other way. So go back to the way you originally choreographed it. So if you watch like when Miguel comes in to grab me versus when I actually took her down, my body isn't too completely different positions. <laughs> they pulled it off. What are you doing? I'm doing what Johnny said. I'm not taking no. No. Okay, so you can't really see it right here, but the moments that we're <laughs> fighting on the concrete, they wet the concrete so that the, the streets look larger than they are, or like the, the sidewalks look larger than they are. So you're, I'm fighting, and these ladies too are fighting in either barefoot on concrete, <laughs> high heels on concrete, or like slippery dress shoes <laughs> on concrete. And so I remember picking up Peyton and be like, Lord, if you're out there, <laughs> I need you in this moment. Please do not let me fall with this woman in my head. <laughs> I did not know that was going through your no. mind. I totally trusted you. But because, you, but you have to keep like the straight face of like, I'm gonna pick you up and whatever. Yeah. Like, I, those moments are the hardest. Right here, these moments are so hard. Okay, A, it's like 35 degrees outside right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. B, this floor is like wet. And C, Freezing. like, 
we cut in right here. So like, look, we fall, and then it's gonna cut to the other side. And we're just, I just remember them being like, all right, so you're supposed to have like a romantic moment out here, or like something close to that, but it's cold, <laughs> you're laying on the ground, it's a little uncomfortable, your arms are like, under each other, and then, oh. and then she pulled it off. I guess it wasn't romantic <laughs> enough of a moment. Oh! oh, no. oh no. I was Watch mad. Out. Also, Tanner decided to wear the jacket. I guess I should have worn the jacket because he looks clean right here. Originally, <laughs> there were like three throws that Peyton and I had in this fight. Um, oh my god! In the god. original choreography, where like there was one in which I so supposedly in order to pull this off, we would have had to be been wearing our dates jackets, and we were like, thank the Lord mm. because it's gonna be so cold out this. there. And we had all these throws. Like there was one where I was supposed to like go over your arm and then like grab her back by the jacket and flip her upside down. And like, yeah, there was a lot of. At like, least really we know fun. how to do that now. If we someone's do. wearing a long sleeve jacket, we can throw oh. them. No, no, get over her! Stop! Hey, get off of her! <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Also, I feel like that's a fun term that I learned through stunts is being eggy. The idea is like having egg on your face. Egg on your face is like like if you're doing stunts and you uh, are taking too long or you look like you're not doing anything. Like you look like you have egg on your face. Like you're standing yeah. there with egg on your face. So they say don't look eggy. Like look busy. Like keep yourself yeah. moving constantly and look like you're actually the opposite like, of so eggy. That's, so that's why that I have that big <laughs> wind up. Oh, I remember this right here because you weren't twisting my wrist. Oh so wait, are we about to be honest on this? Are you about to tell the truth on this? What happened was the reason I couldn't do what? it. Was You're holding onto his thumb? <laughs> no, <laughs> like I... a baby? <laughs> <laughs> first take at the beginning of the night, um, we were supposed to do those first three kicks that Peyton and I do, and then just duck out of frame as if we were doing the takedown, but not actually do the takedown. I went down and I stupidly put my hands out like this to catch my fall. So I had like my hands spread. Jeff. Peyton accidentally fell because she was in those heels, fell on my hand, and my thumb went pop. And I immediately was like, I broke my thumb. That's it. I broke my thumb. And I was like, I'm not going to say a word about it. I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. And immediately, uh, Jesse, one of our stunt guys, uh, runs over to me and he was like, look, I was a fireman for years. I've heard that sound. <laughs> that is not good. And I was like, all right, then what are we gonna do? He was like, let me check if it's dislocated. We ended up icing it, it was fine. But I was supposed to like actually like have to hold grab his, my wrist. Yeah, your wrist like this. Like and like that's the actual move in which you would be holding somebody's arm and like and, actually and hurting what, them. And this is what happened. And <laughs> that's, 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 get over here! <laughs> and then I just have to like, you're grabbing <laughs> like, my thumb and I'm like trying to like, give me your outfit. Torque, torque my wrist like this and I'm like, So he ow, looks injured. Ow. <laughs> You think I broke your heart? You broke mine too. Us two, right, wait, us two. Okay, we, this, we can, whoa, this yeah, is should a we great freeze this? frame though. This is crazy. That's a, wait, I kind of think I'm doing the crane kick. And then you guys are dancing over here. <laughs> this Jake is Jake Huang. He is one of our stunt guys, and if you notice, there's stunt guys placed, oh, I guess you wouldn't be able to notice, and this is why we're <laughs> saying this. We have stunt guys here. We're fighting right next to a pool, we're fighting on concrete, and we're also fighting each other, and none of us are um, actually professionals at this, surprisingly. Our lovely stunt team kind of spread out throughout. They also, you know, compete with us, they fight as part of our teams, they learn, Train they're part of the us, dojos, yeah. but they are strategically placed throughout the fight yeah. so that they are backing us up. Like if anything were to happen, if one of us were to hit the ground or we, if there's anything they can prevent, they're kind of spread out so that they can help us out and keep us safe. But you'll note that they're always like one of the closest ones to mm, us. So yes. if anything goes wrong, Jake doesn't I seem like, Jake, like he's Jake close, is but slapping. he is yeah, Jake is drinking a beer like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's literally right here. Like if yeah. we're actually to plot out the world, like he's right on him. the other side of me. This is like an homage to something you did earlier in the episode, right? Twins. In the little dance sequence when I picked you up and you did the little uh, the leg flare. It's just like an homage to when we did the dance. If you go back and look, she does a little like leg flare kick, and then we we basically flip it this time. Yeah. So the storytelling por portion out. is like they're working better than we ever did, and look at how great they're doing, and look at how who we're doing. I just remember like the getting into it was just grabbing the hands. Yeah, I remember because it was forearm, forearm, and yeah, then I and just spun like... you and I'm like, one, two, three, cool. Ah! Oh, that's the first! <laughs> this is stunt 
pass. This oh is the stunt God. pass. Yeah, they do these for the the big wides. Uh, it, they do a full stunt pass where they put all the stunt doubles in. Obviously, they're able to just do perfect it, it perf every time. Yeah, it's just like... nail it and make it look incredible. And then we have these lovely shots that they can they can cut to that uh, injured none of us in yeah. real life, mm -hmm. and they sold it and made us look incredible. So those are yeah. called the stunt passes, and it's usually when the camera's kind of far back, you won't catch people's faces as well. Something else that I'll mention is like something that you know the stunt pass is so good at is that since they can perfect it every time, it's a little bit harder for us when the director says like, all right, I need you like harder here, or like don't go as hard here, or don't go as fast here. Whereas these guys, it's like, okay, you need this part slower, done. You need this part like to look better, done. And I feel like sometimes you're already thinking about like, ah, uh, the acting part of it and the fighting part of it and like remembering the moves, it's like a little dance here. Great. There you go. Yeah. This it was all of us. <laughs> This was another one of those moments that like, I love this. We both just, I noticed it so strong on Shola right here. So the thing that like to get our hands in the right position, hold a telephone. So does that look like a telephone kind of? And hold <laughs> a coffee mug. That's the like, Good to job. get our Good hands job. in the, there thank you. Look, on. That one I'll put, this steaming cup of coffee. Anyway, <laughs> that's how we get our hands in the right position. <laughs> My dad cares about you. He's just trying to make himself feel better for screwing up with me. Wait, oh! you guys have to recreate that. Can you do yeah, that? You do. That was so cool. That was such a cool exchange. Let's see. Knee. Okay, Tight let's grab see. for me. That's what it is. Let's see. And then you and then pushed. Then you go... pushed into me first, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I go. Here. So I go elbow. Okay. Pop. Uh, get him. Here. Go around. Boom. And then I, I think you think grab it was and then you here. Yep. Oh. And then spin him around. Savage. And then you'll see next I grabbed you and I came out of it and countered and then throw you that ba. <gasps> yeah. I think I'm the only You're real one. You're the only one. really. Yeah, so that's Craig. Dang, you that's can Olivia really and that's tell Selkie. Yeah. Oh, shit. First of all, stunts needed to go first for safety and make sure that it was going to be safe for us to clear the edge of the concrete and not hit ourselves and, you know, can get concussed. But to go back on to top it? of that, yeah, well, I was just going to say that we only had, you know, literally one opportunity for each one of us to go in the water. You can't dry your hair if these people are yeah. wearing wigs, like you gotta... So like, it was like every one of, like the, the two takes that we got where we really, these guys went in the water one time, they got out, they got wrapped, and then we went in the water one time, and then we were in the water for the rest of the night. And now you see which one was so better. Freaking cold. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> that was then, the moment we knew the fight was over. Yes, that, that is, that I also remember celebrating. As soon as we got wet, it was that moment of like, well, we yeah. literally can't go back and get any more fight choreo, mm -hmm. so this we know we're done for the night. Uh. I don't know, we're jumping in the pool? <laughs> you don't really realize when you're watching movies or TVs how much those stunt people put into like making sure that you, you see movies like Mission Impossible or like the Eat Man, like Ong Bak, like all of those movies, especially all of like the traditional Asian fighting movies or you know martial arts movies. You don't know how much time goes into it until you're here and you're seeing like how hard these guys are falling. There's dudes that break arms and I think to, to see that, witness that in person is like, dang, like people love to say like, oh man, you guys are like, you guys did those stunts. And it's a blessing <laughs> to say that, right? That we were able to do some of these. But the, I think the real like stars are, you know, the Craigs, the Selkies, the Olivia's, the Thomases of the world. And our fight coordinator, yeah. Don Lee, who uh, put all this together, our stunt coordinator, uh, Ken Bearfield, really like have had our backs. Definitely, I think that's that's been like a super, rewarding aspect, seeing what they're doing, but also feeling them being so welcoming of us and willing to pass it on and, and wanting to make the entire project do well. Um, like nobody's out there being selfish and fighting for themselves. They're like, how can I make you look the best, keep you the safest and make this whole project come together to be Cobra Kai? We pulled it off, but uh, it was a- It, it came a out great. Ride. High five, everyone. Ooh. Yay. Yay. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> that was so perfect. so glad we have it on camera.